मैंने लोगों को अक्सर बॉडी मास इंडेक्स और बॉडी फैट के बारे में कंफ्यूज होते हुए देखा है तो आज के इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे बॉडी मास इंडेक्स मतलब बीएमआई और बॉडी फैट के बारे में तो चलिए हेल्दी और फिट बनते हैं हाय हेलो नमस्कार दोस्तों आई एम रुचिर महाजन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इजी हेल्दी फिटनेस टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट बॉडी मास इंडेक्स दैट इज बीएमआई एंड बॉडी फैट एज मेनी पीपल फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेट एंड हाइट इन्फॉर्मेशन वी कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट द बी एम आई बट टू एक्यूरेटली एनालाइज द बॉडी फैट परसेंटेज इन अवर बॉडी वी हैव टू विजिट सम क्लिनिक और सम फिटनेस सेंटर Nowadays there are many devices available in the market which can calculate these details but I doubt about the accuracy about these devices I will mention some links into the description as well as comment section for these devices Body mass index BMI refers to body mass index it is the measurement of your body's mass it is a measure to see whether you lie within the normal range of a fitness or is underweight or overweight Many websites do provide the facility of a BMI calculator which takes weight and height as input and provide you with the result which is your BMI. The ideal BMI for a healthy person is between 18.5 and 24.9. This differs between men and women. If you are under 18.5 then it means that you are underweight and need to bulk up. If your BMI is over 24.9 then you are overweight if it is over 30 then you are obese and need to lose a substantial amount of weight you have to measure your weight from time to time and keep a check on your bmi it is not necessary for anyone to remain close to 18.5 mark but your bmi can be 20 or 21 and you still can be a quite healthy the bmi is simply a comparison between your height and weight The problem with BMI is that it does not take into account the fat and the muscle weight. A six feet tall, ninety kg man with a lot of fat, and a six feet tall, a ninety kg bodybuilder with no excess fat, has the same BMI. So from this, you can understand the loophole of calculating the BMI. That is why calculating fat is more accurate than calculating a BMI. In addition to not being too accurate the BMI scale will tell a person is overweight just because their weight is too high for their height Additionally BMI scale does not take account about person's gender age and the activity level it is just the ratio of height to weight Body fat the body fat is another measure of calculating person's fitness Here the total amount of fat present in a person's body is being measured There are many devices and techniques to calculate person's fit body fat. The simple technique involves dividing total number of body fat mass by total body mass. There are two types of body fat present in the person's body. First, essential body fat and second, storage body fat. For proper functioning of a human body, our body requires the essential body fat whereas the storage body fat is not what we require the storage body fat accumulates over the period of time by poor health habits such as overeating consuming high calories than the required body maintenance calorie and doing very less activities the main aim is to reduce the storage body fat from our body as much as we can to avail a healthy body you can visit a nearby clinic or a fitness center to test the body fat percentage You can also measure your body fat percentage from multiple devices that are available online but as i previously told the quality and the accuracy of those devices is questionable you have to calculate your body fat and then go through this chart to understand whether you are within the ideal body fat range if you have too much fat then you must start exercising and follow a lean diet at the earliest if you continue to remain unhealthy 
and have too much body fat then you will end up inviting unnecessary illness. In the next slide I am attaching my body mass index and my body fat percentage which I had calculated but there is one thing that we have to calculate BMI or body fat periodically to keep a good monitor on our health. It's always better to prefer calculating a body fat over BMI for the reasons I explained in this video. If you have watched this video till here, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from our channel. Also, share this video among your family and friends so that they become aware over this topic. If you have any further information over BMI or body fat, please do share it in the comment section. Our small family will be happily go through it. Till then, stay fit, stay healthy. Thank you.